sad to brush your teeth. She said, no man, something not right. You using laundry detergent to take a shower. I said, yes. Back then, and a bath rag when they use beard. Brief, you had a brief. I went the washcloth. Serious thing about it. When my wife saw me using a brief for washcloth, she said, why are you using your underwear for take a shower? Laundry detergent. And and the underwear when me take off and they, they take the beard with it beard beard with it beard with it beard with it, beard with it. pour the salt I pour the salt on the brush make them like mm, so yeah. Oh yeah. wow Wow. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Manix Fabrinsi TV. And I am back at it again. Thanks for tuning in one more time. Blessing and prosperity to all of you guys that have been showing tremendous love towards me and my family. Word cannot express how much I appreciate it, guys. But enough long talking. We're going to jump right down into it right now, guys. And... This is one where a lot of you probably gonna say, wow, that is crazy. Many of you that have been following the channel, you heard where I mentioned about how my wife met me in Jamaica while she was on vacation and how we got married. My wife would come back and forth. And one of these occasions while she was there, she saw me taking a bath and she screamed out and said to me, Manix, what are you doing? I said, what do you mean? I am taking a bath. But she said, you taking a bath with that? I said, yes. She said, no, that is dangerous. Why are you taking a bath with that? So I said, no man, it's all right. I've been doing this so far a number of years. And then she saw me brushing my teeth and then she said what is that you're brushing your teeth with i said it's okay man i've been doing this for quite a while she said no you cannot be doing that i'm gonna show you what caused her to freak out guys see this this right here this is laundry detergent yeah this right here this yeah this guy right here is laundry detergent yeah so this is what she saw me using to take a shower. And some of you are probably saying you were using laundry detergent to take a shower. Yes. Believe me, guys. Some people probably can't relate to it or some people can relate. But when you buy one soap, that is the soap that is used to do everything. This is the soap that is used to wash the laundry. This is the soap that is used to wash the dishes and this is the soap that you use to take a bath. So when my wife saw me using laundry detergent to take a shower, she started screaming. She was freaking out. I said, you crazy. Why are you using laundry detergent to take a shower? I said, I said, but that's what I'm used to. You don't buy bath soap and, and laundry soap and dishwashing soap. Some people have it like that, in which they can do that. But in certain situations, the fab soap is what we use to take a bath. The fab soap is what we use to wash the dishes. And the fab soap is what we use also to wash the clothes. So, multi-purpose. So, when my wife saw me using this for the very first time, she went ballistic. She said, Manix, you cannot use that soap on your skin. It is not meant for taking shower or taking bath. I said, ah, you're joking, man. I've been, I've been using this guy, guy for years, you know. He ain't doing me nothing. She said, no, that is not the purpose for this type of soap. You, you got to be careful. Now, sometimes guys use it when you use this soap. After using it, <laughs> using it sometimes I realize that my skin, like I've been wondering sometimes why my, why I look so light, you know, after using it. <laughs> so why am I, why does it look like I'm bleaching? Never know that the laundry detergent having bleach bleach inside of it sometimes i use it 
I wash my hair, my hair dry like like coconut husk, dry. Sometimes it get in my eye and it burn me eye. I say, well, why this soap burn me I Never know that laundry detergent is packed with bleach and all sort of, all sort of ingredients to make it up. So when my wife said to me, say, no, you cannot use that type of soap to take a shower. And then guess what? You know, stop there. But see that, that this, see the laundry detergent usually use, take a, take shower. But you know, you know, done there so yet. You know what is this? This is salt, guys. This right here, you see, this is salt. When she saw me with this salt, she was curious and said, what are you doing? I said, I use it to brush my teeth. She said, what? You use salt to brush your teeth? I said, yeah, ain't nothing wrong with it. She said, are you kidding me? It's not every time you got the money to buy toothpaste. Some people cannot relate to my life experience and to my, my story. And there are some out there who can relate. There have been a lot of times where you can't buy toothpaste. This salt I've used to brush my teeth, and sometimes even the laundry detergent I've used to brush my teeth. Seriously, guys, and some of you may find it strange, but as I say on my channel, I don't pretend I don't come to tell story. Those of you who don't may not can understand the story and think that it's it's makeup drama. It's not makeup drama. Some of my family members may even watching the videos and and probably saying, why am I talking those things, you know? But my experience, I'm hoping my experience may be a blessing to somebody out there that, you know, to let you know that even if you're going through certain stuff in life right now, all hope is not lost. This usually use brush my teeth when we don't got no toothpaste. So when my wife saw me using salt to brush my teeth she was saying are you kidding me so you are brushing your teeth with salt so doesn't this salt burn your gum i said yes it burned the gum but you know the burning sensation will calm down after a while you're using laundry detergent to take a shower and you're using salt to brush your teeth i said what do you want me to do it's not like we have it to buy dishwashing liquid, to buy bath soap, and to buy laundry soap separate. Sometimes the one soap we use to do everything. When she saw me using this guy, this guy, the laundry detergent soap, and she said, you got to be kidding me. You're using laundry detergent to take a shower. I said, yes. And guys, guess what? Back then, and a bath rag, when they use beard, brief, you pour the laundry, <laughs> you pour the laundry, I what kind of brief this, I what kind of box are this, and not even box I when you use, I can't find a brief because I, I, I don't wear a brief anymore, so I have to use a boxer, and the boxer, and the brief, and when the, and when the washcloth, serious thing about it, when my wife saw me using a brief, the washcloth. She said, why are you using your underwear for take a shower? I said, nothing no wrong with that. But to her, it was strange. You're using your underwear. You're using laundry detergent as bath soap. And you're using salt to brush your teeth. She said, no man, something not right. Something not right. And guys, let me tell you something. You get so used to doing something in life that it automatically become a way of life. I wasn't offended when she started pointing out these stuff to me. Because as I say, to me it was part of life, it was way of life. When she went back to the United States, she packed two barrels. And the two barrels that she packed, she packed every different brand of toothpaste you can think of. Mouthwash, dishwashing liquid, every brand that you can think of she pack it in the barrel because she said that you're not supposed to be using those stuff never let me see you use laundry detergent again to take a beard 
never make me see you use salt again to brush your teeth. Never let me see you the use your underwear to take a shower or to take a bath. All of the stuff them she put them up in the barrel. Me would have just take off my boxers, take off, pull off boxers and pour laundry, pour fab soap on it and show her up and, and wash my face and wash my head and soap up, put myself in a one nice ladder wash out and a look one and of them places and wash out um, and, and soap up and put yourself in a nice ladder and they wash the face, the, the beard, yeah, the beard, soap up, nice, yeah, and you the beard with it, and people, you the beard with the laundry detergent, you know, I think that's, you the scratch out daylight out of me, but to me, you know, man. So when my wife went back to the state and she packed the barrel and sent it back, so, when I say thank God for my wife, guys, don't get upset. You know, some of you now go understand. So, you know, thank God for my wife. You know, man, the detergent, pan, pan, the underwear, when me take off, and they take the beard with it. Beard, beard with it. Beard with it. Beard with it. Yeah, never know, say, this guy, they bleach out the skin. Beard with it. Burn up my eyes, them like pepper, armor, and everything. Never know, say, sometimes you do, sometimes after you finish beard, guys, your skin has scratch you. I just say, well, uh, your skin stiff like a rubber band. Matter of fact, if you no got running water, or if you no got whole heap of water, when you take in a beard or a shower with this guy, sorry for you, because. The fab soap them back then in a Jamaica. A whole heap of water it takes you wash it off of you. Car is slimy. You feel slippery like a slug. And you see sometimes when and even even and even though when it's done dry off it, you still feel slippery like a slug. Guys, sometimes man, you sit down one, even a hour after you're done taking a bath with this guy, you still a hitch. Still a hitch, a hitch. Your skin stiff like how it dry out your skin. 2007 was the last time I used this guy to brush my teeth. 2007 was the last time I used laundry detergent to take a bath, as they call it in Jamaica. 2007 was the last time me use and use my underwear for, for the wash off. Yeah, seriously. But you have the salt. You can just pour the salt on the on the toothpaste like on the toothbrush like that. You see it? It it drop out and it will fall off. You see it? You cannot do it like that. Because by the time you pour the salt on it, you see, so by the time you feel, if, if you go down on the brush, the, the crystals them already fall off. There's a trick to doing it. So what I would do, I would soak the toothbrush, make, make sure I soak the toothbrush in the water or make the hose wet up the toothbrush. And then, you know, you pour the salt pour the salt on the brush and you can see it the salt start absorb the water that is on the bristles yeah so see there it's like it just it's it kind of form the same way as how you know, squeeze out the toothpaste on the brush yeah there it is yeah so you kind of see it firm on it now drop off yeah so after you do that now Guys, I don't know if any of you watching this video, if you ever use salt to brush your teeth, but it's been a while. It's been over 16 years that I haven't done this. So I don't know how my 
tongue or my gum I'm gonna react towards it but let's try it out guys let's try it out so we are with it with the brush and put on it so let's try it out how, it, how, how we work out like mm, so yeah. Oh, yeah. wow wow mm. Feel it burning the gum, guys. Burning the gum. Can't believe that that was used in this to brush my teeth. Wow. Excuse me, guys. Wow. Guys. was really using salt to brush my teeth you can feel it burning the gum lines man like my mouth is on fire wow unbelievable Salt, guys that's what I remember using when we run out of toothpaste we would use the salt to brush our teeth after your beard all a how you sit down see ya you go at school and you go down the road you are scratching this you the itch and it say wow never knew that it was the laundry detergent that was doing it man the salt still burn my, burn my mouth guys well, when my wife saw me using those using those items she went crazy. She said, you're using laundry detergent to take a shower. Do you know what that stuff does to your skin? Never knew, to be honest. See, I'm not ashamed to say that I usually, I usually use laundry detergent, laundry detergent on my, with my underwear to take, to take a shower. No, no free if you say it. No free if you say it, guys. You usually do it outside underneath the aki tree, underneath the underneath the coconut tree, tie up the woods, let the woods hang down, hang out and you are bear yourself. Be no shame if you say it. There's nothing to be ashamed about it. And then have the detergent you got with your dirty and the way I wash your face so yes. Seriously, and guess what, guys? The brief name looks so nice, too. You know, you see, around us a beer whole night. <laughs> wash, wash up, wash up, be with it, and then guess what? Now? Then guess what? At the same underwear, the same brief, you have to make sure so you squeeze out properly. You have to make sure that you squeeze it out properly because. I hate you gonna have to use if it dry off yourself. Seriously, I hate you gonna have to use if it, if it dry off yourself. Cause there was no such thing as towel to dry yourself. Even though she had sent down towels in the barrel and I had stopped using my brief to take a beard. And I started using the washcloth. I was using the washcloth, washcloth to dry off after bathing with it, you know. I would squeeze it out, squeeze
squeeze it out properly and they and they dry and my wife would tell me say no you don't use washcloth to dry off you use the towel that's why i send the towels you use the towels to dry off because sometimes when she call she sh sometimes when she call you know craziest thing about it she would want to see me when i'm taking a shower outside so i would lean up the phone you know on the veranda and she would see me out there washing washing and scrubbing and she would say what are, why are you using using the using the washcloth as a towel i send towels in the barrel go get them use them to dry off now how, how can you blame me sometimes sometimes it's a transition in, in change man it takes a while for change to chip in or for you to tran transition from one one aspect to another aspect you know but so so she's there watching me on the camera and the video call and and I said, why are you using the washcloth to dry off? I gave you towels to dry off, man. It's, you, why are you acting so uncivilized? There is a sending towels in the barrel. And when I look back at it sometime, I said, man, thank God for my wife, man. Guys, the salt still burning my mouth. Would I ever use, would I ever use my underwear to take? a bath or a bed again would i ever use salt to brush my teeth again would i ever use laundry, ter laundry detergent to take a bath again i would do it for fun i would do it for fun i would definitely do it for fun i would do it again just to experience what it's like but to go back to that way of life i don't think so but guys that's it man that's it when my wife saw me using this guy right here laundry detergent using my using my laundry detergent it feel like take a take a button and them something that she was frightened she was scared using salt to brush my teeth she was saying what but it's all right guys all of us been through certain things in life and we learn some of us we meet some partner partners in life that help us through life and guide us through life and show us certain stuff through life which a lot of us appreciate it and there's a lot of a lot of us out there that don't appreciate the partner that God sent in our life. I am one of them that I'm appreciative of my wife. Thank God for her. So guys, thanks one more time. You saw me a while ago use the salt. My mouth was on fire. Wow. Wow. You saw it for yourself, guys. That's how we do it on Manish Rabinsa TV. We talk the things them. I talk my experience. I talk my journey. And hopefully that after watching, it may bless your heart and your journey in life. So guess what? Thanks again for tuning in to Manish Robinson TV. For those of you guys that have been in the place or been, been there where you use laundry detergent and box of and your underwear and salt. Yo, life is a journey. A man not dead, no calling doppy. See you again on the next journey, guys. You have yourself a blessed one. One love every time.